Hello there, generic greetings. This is Richard, and f basically for the heck of it, I've decided that I am going to play through Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And I've just decided that I was going to do this, so there's no real reason or point or anything. It's basically just going to be quick and easy. Uh, I'm going to be playing through the campaign. Um, I, as far as I can get, I'm actually going to create I guess. Starting a new game. Interface there is terrible. So, I'm, you know, I just basically have this game lying around so I felt like playing it. And I'm not astonishingly good. I'm good enough that I feel reasonably confident about my being able to play reasonably well, but... I am not so confident as to say that I am going to, you know, 100% the game and do it in a timely fashion. So this series is probably going to drag on forever if it continues beyond, you know, 20 episodes or less. And I have no idea if it'll even actually go anywhere. But I just feel like recording this, so I'm recording this. And yes. If you don't know this game, um, I'm probably not going to be playing so that you can even, like, find out what's going on. I'm just going to be basically playing the way I ordinary pl ordinarily play. And maybe you'll be able to pick up stuff along the way, maybe not. I'm not going to apologize for myself if you don't, though. So, um, it's reasonably straightforward. Um, and this is practically a tutorial mode in and of itself. Uh, I'm here at the beginning in the Vanilla Hills. Um... So, I need to get 400 guests in my park, and I need to up my park value. So, let's see, we've got, um, one crappy roller coaster, and one crappy thrill ride. And a pointless park area. Every single time that I play this, for the record, all these benches get broken. Every single one. Um, one of the first things I'm going to do is turn off the stupid music because the music is stupid um this one probably has it too oh no i'm impressed okay um and then i'm probably going to want we do not have any shops at all there are not there are absolutely zero shops up anywhere so i guess i'm probably just gonna make like a food area. I just like giving them their choice of everything. That's basically what I usually do. Then synchronize those as a type so I don't have to do it again. And so that I can tweak them all in mass later on if I need to. Uh, same with this. Guests pick. Sync stalls. And now the peeps will give me their money for food. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna try and, I don't know exactly how this works, but I'm gonna try and add length to this queue. And... <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. Alright, um... How about that? I just disassembled about half the queue line, but whatever. I don't really care. Alright, um, what do I have in the way of thrill rides? Okay, Enterprise is good. Um, I like starting off with thrill rides because they're nice and easy to place, and you can just sort of lay down a whole bunch, and it doesn't take a lot of intellectual, you know, stamina to just put together like that there, that there, then probably like that there. To 
doesn't even really matter. Um, put together a quick queue line and customize the colors because I'm in a little like that. Where's the queue line? Yeah, just looks like garbage when it's all blacks and grays like that. Um, orange and blue. That still looks like garbage. Yellow. Eh. Passable. Passable. See if I can get this to match a little better. What am I changing the color of? What, what is... Okay, that's that. Get that testing so that the peeps don't complain. Go with probably around three bucks for this. And I want it to wait for full load. I can get that open, and it'll run through its test. Stop that. No, go away. Uh, it'll run through its test cycle, and no, I do not want to delete the tumbler. No, I do not. There we go. Thank you. I want to wait for full load. Um, that way I won't be running these things when I don't need to be. Bump that up to three bucks so I can get a little extra money out of it. Alright, they're already going to my enterprise. Um, I don't bother with custom names, usually, just because it's an extra step. But, and chair swing, I guess. That'll fit nicely in here, I think. Yeah. Not that nicely, but sort of nicely. Alright, that works. Entrance can go there. Then the exit can go there. Then. Doing and customize this Q line so it doesn't look quite as ugly. Eh. Whatever. It still looks ugly, and in fact, now it's just glaringly ugly, but whatever. I'm not gonna stress about it right now. Eventually, maybe I'll go through and give everything a over and make it all look very very pretty but I can't be bothered right now so that's basically all I need to do there if I'm forgetting something pathetically obvious then it'll become clear later on oh, I'm gonna need to rip out and replace this Q line I guess kind of pathetic that this ride is quite this popular but Whatever, I don't judge. There we go, now they've got a longer queue line to run about in. Um, better build some more shops and stalls out here. Uh, like this. Bit like that, bit like that. It has been absolutely forever since I have played this game, um, and this series is basically just an excuse for me to, damn it, basically just an excuse for me to play the game and have the motivation to actually see it through and get to a reasonably good point. Like, I, I actually, I kind of want to complete the entire game, like, the at least the entire vanilla campaign. Um, maybe even the expansion packs, which I do have, um, because I got the platinum version, um, but I have no idea. I better get some staff going. Oh, I already do have some staff going. So, I'll get another janitor, because you can never have enough janitors. And then, might want to improve. So you know what? I've got the money. I have plenty of money. Um, so I'm actually just going to, I'm going to train these guys, train these guys right up to be fully trained. Where are you? Where are you? Train him too. That way they will be amazingly motivated and so on. In my experience, just training them up to full makes them stellar staff 
I don't think you even need to change their wages, and it's just a one-time payment, which uh, makes them much better and much more efficient, and they it like reduces laziness to zero reliably, like every time. Um, so that's usually just what I do, at least for the few staff members. Um, is it worth it? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll make a merry-go-round. Merry-go-rounds are always good, right? Everyone likes merry-go-rounds. Um, entrance can be there. I didn't think this through. Exit can be there because I didn't think this through. I prefer to think things through a bit more. Still looks gross. Eventually, I'll get good at that, I think, but I'm not there yet. Um, two bucks. If I can land on two bucks. There. And after that cycle, go ahead. Wait for full load. That's it. Is this full load? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um,. Out of general curiosity, what are our finances looking like? Um, that's a nice number to see. And the fact that most of my money is going into ride construction is good. The fact that, you know, like ordinary maintenance isn't grabbing all my funds, that's good. Um, still looking a little bit bad though. I don't know. I have the staff training, which cost a lot, though, so that might be that might go a little ways toward explaining it. I haven't sold any food and drink. That's a little bit weird. At least none of them are buying anything. They're open. That's weird. Usually, I make at least a little money off of those. Oh, well, whatever. That's something that I forgot to do. Yeah, I don't want scenery. I don't really care about scenery. Whatever scenery I have, I can work with. And, you know, paths, I don't need new paths. Show elements, I don't even have any shows. Pools, I don't have any pools. And I don't really need new shops and facilities. Not right now, anyway. I don't need other rides and attractions. That category is a bit dodgy to say the least anyway transport rides the park isn't big enough gentle rides and yeah, maybe not water rides no water at least not yet um i do want more thrill rides those are nice to have junior rides are okay and then roller coasters might be nice though actually i'm probably going to put them below um gentle rides and then I'm going to lower the research budget to, say, 100 bucks. Sometimes I go lower, but 100 bucks is probably safe. Just so I'm not blowing all my money on that. Because um, it does add up. <sighs> Dodgems. Dodgems is good, right? It's basically poor man's bumper cars. See if I can make a path work around there. Sort of imagining another offshoot to the park in this direction. Yeah, that's. Eh. It, eh. it, it doesn't want to. It. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, there we go. Um. Um. this look a little better once again it's unsuccessful how about um, um, I give up I give up whatever it's good enough um, 
bump it up to 90 cents for the heck of it. And wait for full up. There we go. Um, Maybe I'll make a coaster. I've still got enough, and I've certainly got the space. Um. Eh. Oh well, junior coasters can be fun. I'll build it off of this area here. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Should be good. I should be able to fit a decent number of trains there. I like having like two or three decent sized trains on my tracks. Then one, and this is what makes um, junior col junior coasters cool. Is you can do stuff like this. That's a lift hill, and it's going like right up. Uh, it's nice. Got it. quite a lot of height there. And I'll go basically to the and we're not. Um then that's why not. Okay, never mind. I'll just go up that high then. Fine. Be that way. Wasted a little bit of money there, but who cares? Um swing around like that. Slope up, swing around like this. Make some nice Curving, elegant structures this way. It's kind of neat. Let's see if I can get away with. Yeah, how about that? Eh. Ooh, ooh, did not plan that one well at all. Uh. There. How's that look? Can I get away with. I might be able to get away with. I probably couldn't get away with. Oh, I certainly couldn't get away with. Never mind. Maybe that way. Maybe. Um, two cars. Can I get away with six cars? No. Just five cars. Per turn. There we go. Um, let's see about this. Does this work? How much momentum does it have left? That's my question. So I can up the chain limit speed. That's not unreasonable. See how much momentum it has when it gets around. Well then, it does not have much momentum. Okay, I'm probably gonna wanna level off there. I'm actually not even sure if I'll be able to. Oh, and that's another issue. I'm actually gonna put this into super fast motion. I'll be making money. Like that. Sweet! That works. Um. So, I'll be making money fast and. I can also see the coasters going in fast motion. Um, I feel like that's actually going really, really slowly around that curve. Just fast motion makes it look really fast. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Oh well, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can move up. All right. Um, for most beautiful and I didn't even use the new scenery that I got yeah no problem no problem and that's oh that I hate it when I lose track of where I am in three-dimensional space it's annoying darn it okay so I'm gonna need to go down around like that no that doesn't work either <laughs> Shut up, ducks. Shut up, ducks! No one asked you. 